Okay, welcome back under Southern Skies. Um, this is going to be a quick demonstration of um, background extraction using GIMP, um, free photo editing software. So, um, what I have here is a stack um, of um, images taken with a one-shot color camera of Galaxy NGC 1365. Um, I've given it a quick stretch here because I know in the video it might not have been apparent um, how bad the light pollution gradient was. So I've, I've really stretched it here so that you can see the green cast over the entire image. And that's obviously a combination of um, light pollution and the Bayer matrix which has twice as many green pixels as red and blue respectively. So um, let's undo that stretch and go back to the original. So the first thing we need to do is grab the gradient tool, which looks like this. And you'll notice here it's set to subtract, because what it's going to do, we're going to give it a picture of the gradient, and it's going to then subtract that picture um, away from this picture. We've got foreground to background selected um, in a linear shape. And there are a bunch of options that you can look at there if, if you have perhaps vignetting or things like that, you might be able to find a different shape that works for you. So foreground to background, well, we need to tell GIMP what the foreground and the background is. Um, and we do that over here. The active foreground colour. We'll click on that. Now we could choose it from in here, we could try to match it up with what we see in the picture, but it's much easier to use the pipette. And click in there, and that's selected the foreground colour for us, and then we do the same with background. Okay, so now we've told the gradient tool what the gradient is. All that remains is to use the left mouse button, hold it down from one extreme of the gradient to the other, as we drag the mouse down to the other extreme. And that looks fairly, fairly well corrected to me. So I'm going to let go of the left mouse button and press enter and that's done a good job of removing most of the background but to really see it we're going to need to stretch it again so I'm going to go back to levels and just do what is a fairly standard process with astrophotography and start stretching and you can see the galaxy starting to emerge it's such an impressive looking galaxy. Okay, let's give it a little bit more. Yeah. I might bring it to there. So, it already is looking a lot better than it was before, if you can remember that massively green original image. And then if we go through and do further processing, um, just as you usually would, um, we'll be able to make further improvements. So perhaps with curves to kind of finish off a bit more of the background. You will notice that it still looks a little bit green. And we can deal with that either in levels or curves. I'll try levels first. I'll grab this green and I'll just take the brightness of the green down a bit. That's looking all right. Apply that. And it actually doesn't look too bad. Um, And you can go, go through and do further processing to taste. Obviously, with a more careful edit, we might be masking certain things in, um, picking up sp specific colours. This is just a really quick edit just to try to show um, the results of the background extraction. We might take a little bit more green out. It's made the background sort of blue, but there we go. 
that is a really quick demo of background extraction using GIMP to get rid of those nasty gradients. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been helpful to you. Certainly when I started out, I didn't have um, more advanced astrophotography editing software. Um, and so I was um, using processes like this in GIMP and Raw Therapy. Um, thanks very much for your time and clear skies. <laughs>